High End Radio, nigga. On the Sickness Network. High End Radio, you on the air. Who's this? GGB Stone, what's happening? GGB Stone, what's happening, bro? How you doing? I'm doing good, bro. Just blessed. Yeah. Blessed God. Yep, 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 yep. For those out there in um, High End Radio land who don't know who you are, bro, go ahead and um, give them a little background on who you is. Okay, I'm GGB Stone. Southeast San Diego, uh, San Diego, born and raised, 25 years old. I've been doing this rap thing ever since I was like 16, 15 years old, so I guess you can call me a, a veteran at SD. Um, I didn't open up basically at every club. I didn't open up for mainstream artists. I, I got songs with a lot of mainstream artists. Uh, I've been helped, and I, I've been supported by a lot of people in my lifetime. DJ and, you know, we're just trying to, trying to put SD on, but we can't put SD on without everybody contributing, you know what I'm saying? So that's a little bit about me. And uh, <clears throat> you got a song um, called Real One with the boy Torian. Shout out to boy Young Torian, um, who also, um, he from Dago 2, booming. So how did y'all two collab? Um, We actually collab through Chosen. Chosen, uh... Because, you know, after a while, producer get tired of um, basically working on straight rap. You know what I'm saying? They be wanting to do other things. You know, Torian's a singer out of San Diego, right. Southeast, you know. So what's better not to just, you know, he was trying he was trying to get like a, a, a club song, but like kind of like strip club song. You know what I'm saying? That's right. the definition of a real one. That's basically what the song is. Like okay. for towards like stripper crowd, like, you know what I mean? Because believe it or not, that's what's hot on social media. <laughs> I hate to say it, but you know that's what it is. So we're trying to make a yeah. So long story short, that was they actually recorded it. You know what I'm saying? I was he recorded the whole song, but you know, uh, I just happened to chosen my man. You know what I'm saying? So I just happened just to be there, hear the song. Chosen to ask me to get on it. Actually, it was supposed to just be Torian's song. Or, Tor- or Torian plus whoever Chosen wants to get on it, whatever. Let's get to the track, Nan, nigga. Y'all taking it back to the Trina and Trick days, except it's Gigi and Slick. So is this the lead single to the upcoming album, or, or what's going on? Actually, to be honest, I just needed a song to put out. And what's better not to put a song out with Mitch Slick? You know what I'm saying? So... And it was perfect timing because at the time he was doing some stuff with the game. And when the game stuff came out, we had put out an ending at the same time. Right. So it was kind of like it worked out because people heard that and they was like, okay, what's this new song that we should post on also? So people would listen to it. We got people to buy into it. And, you know, hopefully, you know, he's not too busy to shoot a video. Yeah, I was, like, when you used to see me, I wasn't even 18 yet when I was in the club. Yeah. I just, you know, happened to just wiggle up in there and, you know, perform. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I was, like, like I said, like, when they be coming out with the Dago Top Freshman list and all that, like, it's cool to see my name on there, but I've been doing it for a long time. So I know a lot of stuff. And back then, you know, like, when Ocean called itself Jukin, you know, that's when we was young. In high school, we was all part of little cliques, and he had his little clique. I was part of a little clique, and, you know, our cliques used to rap together. You know what I'm saying? And actually, before I even met Jukin, uh, he had put my name on a song, and I heard it. And I'm like, ooh, that's kind of tight right there. And then it just so happened the next couple weeks, I just met him. And ever since then, we've been doing music. So, uh... Who came up with the name GGB Stone Man? What does GGB Stone mean? So actually, GG is my nickname. I mean, they've been calling me that since I was out the womb. You know, my uh, my dad name is Big G. They call me Little G, and you know what I'm saying. I just and all the all the women in my family call me Gigi. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. All the men call me Little G. So you know, my best friend Charlie B. You know, his his like family and all that. Like you know, he got a lot of people from different areas in his family. And then you know, we were just playing around one day, and we just we just added like 
the stone to our names. Like, you know, it was just like, oh, do you be stone? And I just, one day I just put it in a song. What I'm noticing, what I'm noticing from a lot of artists and, um, you know what I'm saying? You got RJs, you got YG, um, Slim 400, uh, Problems. You know what I mean? A lot of a lot of cats is repping their sections and repping the area that they grew up in, and, and they're not afraid to show that. Now, you being from the Southeast area, you know what I'm saying? B-Stone would give a lot of cats the impre- impression that you are blood. Is that a problem when you when you, when you you go places, or, or, or do you let cats know it is what it is? Uh, it's, it's never been a problem with me, you know, it, it, like, people know already when I'm more, like, you know what I'm saying, like, like you said, people do research on people before they even get, you know what I'm saying, so people already know, like, I'm from Lincoln Park, I am a blood, like, you from, I am from the same hood as a lot of other rappers, you know what I'm saying, so, but I don't let me being a blood conflict with me trying to get my business move. You know what I'm saying? Like, there comes a time and place where, all right, you know, like, I can't, I don't, I'm not going to lie, I can't really rap with people that's, that's like, this in the hood all day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't, I can't, I can't rap with, like, that. But, for, for instance, for example, you know, uh, Mikey O, you know what I'm saying? He's a blood from a different area or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? And back then, it wasn't cool to do a song. But once people see that you're trying to move and you're trying to basically better yourself and get music out there and you don't, and you tell people that you don't care where people are from, you're going to do what you want to do. People have no choice but to respect it. So I'm at this point, and I'm not, I'm not hanging out like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm... I got. I'm working, all the type of stuff. Music, you know, music funds don't come from nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I guess you get to the point where point in your life where it's like, I don't care where this guy from. I don't care. He could be a crib. He can bang this, this, and that. He could be a, from blood. We don't get along with. And at the end of the day, it don't even matter. I mean, you still gonna have people that you hang out with. Yeah. And you book this club. They gonna have funk or whatever it can it be. But at the end of the day, I mean. If you gonna push music, push your music. But um, yeah. And say we hop, say we hop on the ride right now, man. Who is GGB? Who is GGB Stone slapping, man? Who's some of your favorite artists? Man, I I listen to everybody. I listen to EDM, believe it or not. Yeah. Like, you know if it's yeah, I listen to everything, bro. Cause you know, I just don't want to like at the end of the day, I can make party songs all day. That's easy. But trying to be creative and make a different song ain't so easy. Exactly. Because a lot of artists, yeah, they're making songs, but you really don't hear artists going out their element. You know what I'm saying? I got a few songs where I'm going out of my element. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like that nobody never heard before. You know what I'm saying? So I just like to, you know, I'm the type, I don't reach the point in my life, like, or my music career where it's a point where I can be like, Hey, call up another artist like, hey, I'm trying to get this song done. I need you to come to the studio. Can you help me or not get this song done? You know what I'm saying? That's the point I'm at. Right. Because we can't keep doing the same shit. This artist might, not saying that that artist is going to write for me, but that artist might have a few suggestions on how I should get the song done. You know what I'm saying? So, because I look at it as like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in LA don't be writing their own stuff. Nah, not at all. And 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 if it's needed to be written, or somebody needs to give you a few bars, I'll let them give me a few bars if I got to. Because so in fact, it's only gonna help San Diego. It's not gonna help not getting that input. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right. Let me see. I'm just probably gonna do the still on vacation. Let's go. Um, say a prayer for me. Y'all must not be prepared for me. Oh, I got niggas that do you like Drizzy? Put you in that motherfucking wheelchair for me. This chair for me. Like, bring it on, take it off, break it down. Very strong weed to the break it down. Drink it down, Perry on, beat it up, Larry Holmes. There I go again, fucking up every Mary home. I got that. Niggas don't know nothing about that. Little nigga wanna wear a pop sack. Carby and Cuba wear a pop sack. Wear a pop sack. 
No stupid dope to gnaw on your vein like you donated plasma. Ho, it don't matter. Throw that ass back. What's call me your master? Call me your master. Shit, I'm the last of real niggas Here living that ain't no opinion. Getting it here and flow like a period. Ho on the period. Think you she kicking it? Nope. <laughs> GGB Stone.